Now Beckett is here now, though. Beckett, can you hear me? So, uh, Bing bong. I, I can. I can. Uh, give me, give me one second. I'm just trying to get this guy was absolutely hide wide, behind his so. girlfriend. Yeah, take, Come on, and uh, be honest. Cheers. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Beckett. Sir. Welcome I want to hear you say, I want to hear it come out of your filthy British mouth that <laughs> you would allow for Stardust to throw herself between you and a shooter. Just tell me that. I didn't Beckett. say, I didn't say just that you would allow for just it. Just tell me that. Oh, sorry. Tell it. Say it. Did you fucking, did you, did you just literally get me on a fucking stream to be like, Hey, Becca, I know you're British and therefore are scared of guns. Can you just admit that you're like American girlfriend? You'd be fine with her being a human shield. Is that your serious fucking argument? Yes, that yes. is argument. Yes. Well, and am I like, right or what? It. Or am I right? Okay, first off, no, obviously. No, not. no. Obviously, fucking not. But secondly, that's not what fucking happened, is it? <laughs> like, yeah, it's it not. Is no, no, it is. It is what happened, Becca. What well, happened I, is okay. she literally, jumped in front of him. Literally what happened. Because he panicked and couldn't do anything because he's a dumb slack jawed coward, right? True. That's what actually, but she did jump in front of him. Now, in that situation, Beckett, are you going to say that that's appropriate, that you wouldn't jump in front of Stardust, that you would appreciate if she jumped in front of you because you're afraid of guns, Beckett? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we still have crossbows here. Um True. Would you have stalked him down with a crossbow back then? <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously. What what else am I going to do in Britain? We've got laws for that. It's fine. Yeah, uh, I need a license, of course. You got to answer the, the question. Right though, I see you trying to avoid. You got to answer. <laughs> answer look, the no, question. I mean, as, far as, as far as as far as I know from the hunter stuff, that's not like she jumped or like got hit in some way by shrapnel, but then they both got out onto the balcony, right? Okay, like, yeah, it wasn't so she was there so wielding the happened, gun next to her. Yeah, so what happened is she she jumped in front when she noticed Conrad was holding a gun. Hunter was still calculating what the fuck is going on. Yeah, stop there. Stop and there. And then stop right there. They right both there. Yeah, just stop there. Just right there. That one point. So me and Stardust will agree on this point before she moves on that he panicked and she jumped in front. Now, I don't know about panic even, but like, yeah, he was thinking about the situation. He wasn't sure what was happening. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's all the signs of panic. But she jumped in front. Now, Beckett, the roles were reversed and it was you and Stardust. Would your expectation be that she jumped in front? It wouldn't be my expectation, no. Would you but jump in front, like Beckett? He, it's not like he could control it. It's not, I'm sure it wasn't okay. Hunter's expectation Stardust, either. Like, like, the well, couldn't you play on. hopscotch? Like, she jumped in front, you jump in front of her, right? I, okay, like, it, firstly, like, it's very hard to do, like, I, I fucking the mental gymnastics of this. Unless you've been in what? those situations, I have. No, no, unless you've been in those situations, like, I've I've been in threatening situations as well. I've, I've got a fair idea how I'd act. That doesn't necessarily mean that's how a hunter would act or even the average person. I'm not talking about hunter right? right now, Beckett. We're talking about you. Yeah, okay. So what? That's so, not that's so, not pertinent to my question. My question's about well, you and Stardust. Not even doesn't even have anything to do with Hunter. Just asking if the roles were reversed, would you be the guy? Well, yeah, I'd probably try and get her out very of the way of danger. They, sure. Yeah. I, I I I strongly doubt these two people have had sex. Definitely not good sex. Absolutely, they have not had good sex if they've had sex at all. Maybe like okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna continue to expand on that. My point has been made. That makes sense, but you don't think it's cowardice that he didn't, right, Beckett? Um, I don't know what their placements were, but if, okay, like, he didn't just leave her alone, he tourniqueted her uh, injury, they got out of the room together, um, I, I, what, what, what are your expectations of what Hunter should have done here? Now, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and defend Their Hunter Avalon, because I don't give a fuck, True. but, like, <laughs> what, realistically, what are, True. what are your expectations of what his action should have been? Well, I would expect him to act in a way that preserves the female's life okay but, but but what does that look like because that could be anything well in this particular case her jumping in front of him does the opposite of preservation of her life okay but how did okay so, so how did even that, if the like, action was, was just actual... to grab her and run off with her or jump in front of her any of these things i might consider acceptable but just to flee the other direction 
while screaming to her to run, which is what he reported and the papers reported. That seems to me to be the epitome of cowardice. They were both running. They were no, he was running first. He was running first. He may have ran first, but she was running as well. Well, he who runs first is the first pussy. That's the way that that works. (laughs) That's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to do in that situation. You're not supposed to let her stand stand guard as the human shield while he runs in that situation. Is not what the situation calls for. Okay, just just from a positioning point in the room here, because like we're getting to the weird logistics. Do we know where they were standing when they became aware of an active shooter? They had uh, walked down to the... None of this uh, matters. They walked down None to of this matters. the uh, apartment building's Why can't glass you front the door. Question? And they Why... were peering out of it when... Why can't Beckett come on here and just say, you know what? If If this happened to me and my girlfriend, I would absolutely jump in front of her and save her from any lunatic gunman and know I would have zero expectation of her jumping in front of me. I would be the man. I would stand up and I would make sure I protected my woman. Why can't he just say that? If he had come on the stream and had just said that that clearly, this wouldn't even still be going. But he didn't. He hemmed and hawed and oh, I don't know. Because he's a beta bitch. And he would absolutely expect Stardust, who has already interrupted and inserted herself, when he was being asked a very clear question by another man, like, Stardust didn't need to say anything. She could have just kept her mouth shut. Like, it's obvious what would happen. It's obvious. Beckett would be hiding behind Stardust, who would insert herself and end up getting herself shot. True. True. Yeah. True. Maybe that's cruel, but you know, it's it's almost one AM. Uh Conrad showed up and I guess he had the gun with him. So that's all we know about it. So at that point, is that the point when Hunter was like, shit, he's got a gun, we should run and then run? Well, he was slack jawed. He was he uh he was, he was panicked. Estimate, yeah. He was panicked and he was slack jawed and he said he, while he was trying to determine what was going on, because apparently his processor is a little bit slow, she heroically ran and jumped in front of him. Exactly. And then as he was fleeing, if he shouted, run, run, herself, run. It's her own fault okay, if she gets well, shot. My question, okay. Did she know that her previous partner was there to kill him? Well, she didn't know it I at that point. I would say so. She certainly did, yeah. Yeah, but he had the I same suspicion. I would say they so suspected. She, Okay, so so they both had the suspicion that the target of her ex boyfriend was Hunter, not her. So what? Yes. So so the reasonable reaction from her is to be less inclined to run because she. Why would that? I thought that he was an abuser, and we don't believe abusers because they do anything they can to abuse. So yeah, we might not believe so that. So why would she? She might believe that. Why would she? Why would she believe a know. manipulative abuser? That makes no sense, Beckett. Well, she was with him for 11 years, bro. Like, you know, she clearly believed him long enough to be with him for 11 years. Yeah. So says just because she's stupid doesn't mean that she believed him. But we're not we're not talking about like, hey, what was her intelligent action? here? We're talking about what actions people took with the information they had. And the information they both had was (laughs) he's here to kill Hunter. Get Hunter out the way. He's not here to kill Holly. Holly feels in less danger. Now, whether that's the reality is almost fucking irrelevant to their actions. Oh, I don't think so. Safe. Because if you okay. got a call inside of your little uh, flat or whatever the fuck you call it in the UK, if you got a call from your manager house, of your you. flat and your manager of your flat said, hey, Beckett, you fucking Ed Sheeran lookalike motherfucker, there's a guy with a suitcase who's walking around here who looks awful suspicious. And you had an inkling that it might be Stardust's ex-boyfriend exactly. there exactly. to possibly exterminate you or her or both. If you went to check out the situation, would you take Stardust with you, Beckett? No, I wouldn't. No. God, you, wouldn't. you bet you nah. bet I would insist on coming. Oh! Uh-huh. And would yeah, you let her? No, would no, you let her back it? Oh. Insist on coming, but I wouldn't fucking let you come. Uh, so, I like, you and, like I, I, I <laughs> listen, I like I fucking okay, I hate both. <laughs> did you just see? Did you just see how much more forceful Stardust was in that situation than Beckett? Beckett was asked, "Would you take Stardust with you if there was an active shooter?" And and Beckett was like, 
of, of, of course I wouldn't. And then Stardust was like, you better believe I'm coming. And then he was like, no, honey, no, no, don't and like he like, let's watch that again. Just watch, watch the body language and like the, and like, like watch who is the most forceful in this exchange. Cause it, cause it sure as shit ain't Beckett. Check out the situation. Would you take Stardust with you, Beckett? No, I wouldn't. No, you, uh, wouldn't. you bet. You nah. bet. I would insist on coming, though. Uh huh. And would yeah, you let okay. her? No, would no, you let her back it? Insist on coming, but I wouldn't. Like, 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 you like, you like, I, I fucking like, I fucking listen. Like, I fucking okay. I hate both these sides because because again, like yes, there are there are different expectations here. I'm not Hunter, and there is going to be a different fucking reality to these things. So yes, you're right. I would in those situations. Uh, like. Either go on my own. In fact, do you know what? Actually, like as we're talking about what mm -hmm. I would do, I probably yeah. wouldn't check things out. I would probably secure the location as best I could and phone the fucking police. I wouldn't go on my own with a fucking right. camera or whatever. Hey, I don't have any problem. Look, I'm, Beckett, I don't have any like, problem with that either. But assuming that you just felt the inclination to check things out, is there any <laughs> fucking world perceivable? Sure. Is there any world perceivable where you're going to take Stardust with you to do that? No, there is no, no, no there isn't. You stop me? Yeah, I think yes, I do. You're yeah. fucking tiny. Yeah, like literally, Stardust keeps making the situation worse. If literally, if Stardust had just kept her mouth shut, like Beckett probably would have come out of this looking a lot more manly because he at least he's he's Beckett's saying the right things. Like, nope, Stardust ain't coming. Nope, 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 nope. And then Stardust inserts herself and emasculates him in the middle of the conversation because she can't sit there and keep her mouth shut for more than two seconds. Let them. It's okay. Listen, man. It is okay to allow the man to handle the situation and allow him to like she is purposefully emasculating him i would never do this to my husband it wouldn't happen like if my husband is sitting there saying like yeah baby i'm gonna take care of the situation i'd be like good i'm not gonna say well you better believe i'm not gonna let you do like fuck you like this this like if he ever marries this woman he gets exactly what he deserves she's going to be nagging him constantly but like the purposeful like i'm I, i'm not you you better believe it, i'm not going to listen to me 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 like you know this woman is going to be a nightmare in a relationship what are you talking about yes that's what i want to fucking hear back now back let me ask you the second thing second second question maybe you can Sure. Make this a bit more decisive for me. I can see that Ethan Ralph's over there. He's about to choke to death from laughter that he's trying to hold they in. Got you. But, they got but the him. thing they is, got is him. like, look, <laughs> over to you, Beckett. After the situation unfolds and they're in the back porch, you've seen the notorious call, right? Where he's filming it. Oh. She's shot in the leg. She's bleeding everywhere. She's in front of the sliding glass door. Assume for a second you had made the awful and stupid decision to take Stardust with you. And she had taken one in the leg. As you were fleeing back up, you went through the front door. He sees you go through the front door. One of you has to stay on the end of the balcony. And you're looking over the balcony to determine if he's coming around that way or if he's coming through the front door. But he sees you coming in the front door. Would you put her in front of the sliding glass door? Or would you put her in front of the covered position next to the sliding glass door where she's out of sight, Beckett. Um, Mind you, she's shot in the leg, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> she, at this time, she's, uh, she's, no, I'm she's just wounded. I'm trying to work out the logistics. Yeah. Like, oh, and I'm trying to remember back to the footage. Oh, my um, God. This man has never I mean, had handled the gun in his life. Ultimately, again, she's just been shot. My first thing would be, like, how can I, like, are we stopping the bleeding? Is she going to be all right? That there is shit. an active yeah, shooter. Would you stop know. her bleeding behind the cover or in front of the sliding glass door where there's no cover? So you're basically <laughs> calling him a double coward. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And yeah. I don't yeah. Think, like, coward like, at first and then coward. I don't, coward, right? I don't think the well, argument. Okay. So I, I, I am going to take a coward. huge. I have to take a huge oh, issue with God, this. Here we go. You know full well, Beckett, that you would not be able to stop me. You can say you would try oh! to stop me, but at the end of the fucking day, I would be coming through that fucking door with you. You know it. <sighs> Pull the chat. Pull the chat. Hang on. Hang on. In the unlikely event that Stardust and Beckett have actually had sex, 
Has Stardust ever pegged Beckett? Yeah, obviously. Hang on. Obviously. Or they've never had sex. Those are your options. Let me know what you think in the chat. Wow. Talk about like, like complete and total emasculation of your man. She is absolutely incapable of allowing the man to be the man in the relationship which is why she will never have a successful marriage she will never she will never have a relationship in which she's like in which that is balanced and like like people can like like listen man i'm not saying that like it, like i'm not a trad con or anything like that i'm not like 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 absolutely not but like you can't emasculate your your you can't emasculate your significant other like that She's not allowing him to step into the role of being the man, which tells you exactly what's going on in that relationship. Let's just watch that little bit again for 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 fun. Coward, right? I don't think the well, argument. Okay, so I, I don't think I, the argument. I'm going to take a coward. huge. I have to take a huge issue with this. You know full well, Beckett, that you would not be able to stop me. You can say you would try to stop me, but at the end of the fucking day, I would be coming through the fucking door with you. You know I it. I don't think he'd let you start. You Look, know I don't, he would. I, he would not be able to fucking stop me. Wow. Don't I don't think like either of us, wow. listen, wow. neither of us would be going through the God. fucking door. I have been the oh one going out, all right? So don't Stardust, just because you can run your mouth doesn't mean you should run your mouth. Listen, girl, I'm a fiery bitch. I understand the inclination to want to run your mouth and be a fiery bitch in all circumstances. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I promise you, Stardust, your boyfriend doesn't feel very good about being completely emasculated by his woman live on the internet for no good reason. Like, she's getting all pissed off over this. This debate literally means nothing. Nothing is going to change as a result of this debate. It's just for entertainment is fun and fun. Um, I mean, I would say daddy issues as well. She has massive daddy issues. We learned that last time. Like, why is she getting so upset? Why, why is she getting this fired up over her boyfriend saying, I'm going to protect you, baby? Like, you know what I would do if my husband says, I'm going to protect you. Everything's going to be, I'm going to be like, okay. Okay, I'm on board with this plan. I'm on board with you doing the man's work and me hiding behind the fucking counter or something like that. Wow, wow, wow. I did not expect it to be this great. I really didn't. Don't fucking act that way. You see where the yeah, feminism the ends is where the penis asking... begins. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's what that's what, just, that's oh what we God. just saw live. <laughs> Beckett said exactly what I predicted he would say before he ever came on stream. Yeah, me, no way. W Andrew, I might unblock Andrew on Twitter for that for that line alone. <laughs> ever let you start us? How would he difference. stop me? There's and Beckett says, but "I'd fucking stop her." Believe me. He could, he could okay, but but I've been in these. But I've been in situations like this. Time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shut up, your no, woman, Beckett. No fucking way, bro. Your no woman. fucking way. <laughs> Don't fucking pay your it. woman, Beckett. That, it's, I'm it's not trying to fucking. No, oh, my God. It's, it's, oh, my God. How is, how is I wouldn't let my partner get shot? Me, I wouldn't fucking you. let you go out by yourself, you <laughs> dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you wouldn't. But at the same time, you probably, you would probably be I sensible enough probably, to try and stop me stop from me going from out. No, you'd, you. you'd, you'd probably, I would hope you'd be smart enough <laughs> that if I was dumb enough to want to go out, you that's try beautiful. and stop me. I would, pro yes, because that's I would obviously try to the stop wrong you from going out, period. Yeah, but if you're yeah, insisting sure. on going out, so, you're not going out there by yourself. Okay, but... but okay, Come on, but Beckett, from that's the position a chance, being... your chance to push back. Stand you know you're tired, right? Look at what you've done. Stand up to her. Do it. Do it. Do it. Listen, listen. Yes, of course, it's not fucking in. Listen, I've been in situations... Listen. Don't act no, bro. Don't even. No, no, no. There's absolutely no fucking way. No, no. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, no. Yeah, but it's asking me. It's not asking what Hunter would I'm do. So I'm also, sorry. Hold on. 
I am following you, and you can't stop me from following you. Can I I just push back on this this whole narrative building from Andrew, by the way? Because I understand why you're doing this, and why you fucking phoned me, because you know me, and you knew what the fucking conversation- I I just want to point out that I feel like some of you may have answered the poll question prior to Stardust completely cutting off her boyfriend's penis and stuffing it into her purse. So if any of you want to rethink your answer to the poll question, you just let us you it, it's okay to be wrong sometimes we we have just wit- witnessed a complete castration live on the internet it's okay to admit that you were wrong beckett is obviously either either he has been pegged or he will be pegged at some point in the future if this relationship continues conversation with look like well but, but hang on. I already my, defense, defense, my defense real quick no shame no shame we i changed did the votes. get your back beckett i got your back <laughs> so what i did and and ralph can confirm this i said beckett would tie your fucking ass up for you let you out of that house no, and he'd can't. move you he, fucking, he, he would move you to the different position to whether you <laughs> liked it answer. or you fucking didn't like it mm-hmm. that's what beckett's gonna do and you were like no nah, beckett thinks i'm a strong woman not feminism bullshit no, and then not, beckett came not, on and he was I'm like not saying that he thinks baby, i'm a strong woman i think he's posturing i think he's posturing right now and like let's be and i really just want to point out to everyone because this is this is sage life advice Sometimes the very best thing to do is to keep your mouth shut. And listen, again, like I've I've made mistakes in my life. There was I was, you know, I've said things that shouldn't be said. But I've learned from my mistakes. And sometimes the very best thing you can do is to keep your mouth shut because if you say the thing you want to say, it's just going to get you into more trouble. Yeah, if Beckett was smart, he'd be reevaluating his girlfriend option. Perhaps finding someone that lives in his own country might be a good first step. Like, this is a long distance relationship, apparently. Like, he can, you know, he needs to, he needs to find a good British girl that hates guns as much as he does. <laughs> I mean, that will allow him to possibly act like a man, at least pretend sometimes real you do not have anything in your fucking house to tie me up with and you would not be able to stop me from coming out the door behind you i would of course want you to stop and not even go out in the first place but if you're insisting on going there's no way in hell i would let you go out by yourself i had your back beckett i want you to i want to let you know listen listen i had your back any reasonable way that i could have a relationship with me not with him oh my god oh (laughs) my (laughs) my (laughs) god fuck me did you really say that i wouldn't stop trying to stop you going out though no i didn't say that i didn't say that i didn't say that at all i said that i would obviously not let you go out by yourself I didn't say that I would that you would wouldn't try to stop me. <laughs> Beckett, listen, she's listen, not going I out of the fucking house, fucking, right, Beckett? This is a fucking yeah. Of course no, she's not. Like, this is not even I'm sorry, like how you, if you are, ever you are ask me this I'm not. This shit. I'm gonna no, fucking no, 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 leave. No, 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 no. I'm going to rage quit right now. <laughs> I'm gonna rage quit. And I'm actually going to fucking break up with you. Like I, I am. I'm not, even, I'm not joking. I'm serious. I, She just said she was gonna break up with him. <laughs> I'm so glad I did this. <laughs> Again, still plenty of opportunity for people in the poll. To, I, I've seen those votes flipping. Let's. <laughs> Let's just listen to that again. She's got to be an Aries. I dated some short Aries girls who had hella attitude. Cool chicks to hang with. Listen, man, I'm an Aries. Don't don't shit talk Aries. I'm an Aries and I'm actually more fiery than she is. I mean, she definitely has some Aries in her. That's for sure. But like, like, again, this is one of those things. It's like literally all she had to do was not talk. That was it. And now she's breaking up with her boyfriend on the internet because he joined a stream when he wasn't expecting to. And and he she is literally breaking up with her boyfriend on the internet because he said he would protect her. This is the problem. This bitch does not want to be in a relationship. 
if she's that offended at her boyfriend saying that he would protect her in a hypothetical scenario, she doesn't want to be in a relationship. It's not about, it's like, it's like, you know what, like, this is exactly what Big Tech was talking about in that debate. She makes everything about her. She is the center of the universe. Everything is about, like, yeah, exactly. This is embarrassing. And I'm not one to say that because, like, whatever, people can be embarrassed or not. Like, who cares? But, like, again, this is completely emasculating. It's okay to let men be men. Stardust. When you do eventually have sex, the sex will be so much better if you just allow the man to be a man. I promise you. I promise you. Listen, she's listen, not going I out of the fucking, fucking house, fucking, right, Beckett? This is a fucking, yeah. No. I'm sorry. Like, how, no, you are, you are fucking fostering. I'm going to no, fucking no, 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 leave. No, no, no. I'm going to rage quit right now. <laughs> I'm going to rage quit. I'm actually going to fucking break up with you. Like, I, I am. I'm not, even, I'm not joking. I'm strong. serious. I will break up with you. Beckett, Beckett, now's the chance to call her bluff. <laughs> now's, no, 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 it's all good. Uh, fair all enough. Good. Fair enough. We can wrap. We can wrap it here. It's all good. No, no, listen, we don't want to see I do, that. I on. do want. I do want to say one thing because I think this is. Listen, as funny as it is, I think it's a red fucking herring. Because while while this is all hilarious, it's a great little fucking bring your boyfriend in, and then he'll <laughs> reinforce my point. The truth is, I don't think this is like accounting for cowardice. True. I think this is just accounting for like stupidity. Oh yeah, then why like, wouldn't I, you do I, it? I, then why wouldn't you do it? Then why wouldn't but, you take but, your girl with you? Why wouldn't you do it? Because that's what a fucking coward would do, right, Beckett? Exactly. Well, it's okay. Listen, you can call it cowardice if you like. I call it fucking stupidity. <laughs> Maybe it's both. I don't know. Can it Holly? be both? Can it be stupid and cowardly? Cowardice. It's not. No. I don't. I don't know if I'd call it cowardice. Um, like I genuinely wouldn't. It's the problem. The problem here is that the information that they're working on is that it's her ex partner. I don't know. I don't think they've been in a relationship very long. Like it's what a couple of months, if that. You know, it's it's a it's a radically different situation to a, like a massively long term relationship. Um, it's it's firstly her actual ex partner who she's been with her for eleven years. This isn't just some random fucking person. Um, and also Hunter's in the position where he's been dragged into somebody else's life drama. Yeah. Um, which is which is a which is radically different. And yeah, what I'd ask you is this: yeah, like, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you're calling Hunter a coward and everything yeah. else, but he didn't just fucking jump over the balcony and try and escape. Um, well, I mean, that's because it, it would it was a two story drop, probably. So I don't there's know. that, but not only that, I Beckett. Really, the whole thing ends here with this. If your best friend, your best pal, was in this same exact situation and you talk to him afterwards, the very first thing out of your mouth would be, you stupid motherfucker, why'd you let that chick go out with you? Why I'm did you furious. go out? But at, at the very least, netter. why the fuck did you let your woman go with you? And he'd be like, oh, fuck. And he would say, you're fucking dumb and you're a sissy. That's what would happen, Ben. But we didn't even disagree on this, Andrew. We both agreed that they both shouldn't have gone out in the first place. Yeah, but is it? cowardice that he had to drag his chick with him I don't in order to go check on the threat that'd be like me waking my wife up him, in the middle though. of the night it'd be like me waking up in the middle of the night my wife's like i heard a noise downstairs and i'm like okay i'll check it out you're coming with me right <laughs> we don't know that, that sounds we, we, wait 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 andrew we don't know that that's what happened no, we well, don't know that well, that's no, the we situation. Do. We do. We do have the timeline of this because we this do, we don't we have the do. no, we don't have the conversation of him saying, Hey, do you want to come with me? Yeah, we but don't have why that. why was she with him? We don't know. Well, because they th he got a call while he's in the apartment. He got the call explaining that there was somebody lurking around, right? And he said that he went to check it out and she went with him. Yeah. So we do know. So we the thing is, is like, that happened. yeah, because he didn't say, no, bitch, you're staying here. That's why it happened. True. 
No, it couldn't no, have no, happened no. any I, other I, way. I, How I, else could it have I, happened? She was like, but, she had a gun and was again, like, coming I, with I you? Come on. I think that's perfectly fucking normal for plenty of relationships. Just because I wouldn't act in that situation in that way doesn't doesn't mean no, plenty of other men wouldn't. No, are you, you checking didn't. out the threat in the middle oh. of the night with Stardust? Come on, dude. No, you're not. You are, are you not really going that. to act like I would let you go by yourself somewhere? You're really going to act like you have a choice? Yeah, I do. <laughs> look, it, look, but I think, but I think there are differences in those situations. Like again, we're talking about very specifically Hunter's situation. Yeah, I probably would act differently. But if it's something in the middle of the night, yeah, maybe. Like again, I think women should be firearm trained. Like my mum was like this when we were in South Africa. My dad is not a great oh, wow. shot. It was my mum who was like the fucking shooting, uh, like to chase no, off his robbers. Father was Women also are pussy, absolutely and capable of defending themselves with firearms. I mean, I, that explains I everything. Don't know if I completely agree with your narrative of it should only just be the man. You're asking what I would do, but that's not necessarily normative. Well, um, I feel like I have made my case and have completed my case. And I have nowhere I else think, to go I with think it. You're attributing, I think you're win. attributing <laughs> stupidity to cowardice and bad decision making. But Beckett, also, all I, I need to know is how this. you would react in the situation. Yeah, but, I know that the acting to the ulterior to that, here. you would consider to be <laughs> pussy. That would be you would consider him to be a fucking wuss. Beckett, come on. Okay, okay. Well, let's let's ask the other question then. Isn't it is the first response to this, like, why is it just to, like, come at Hunter? This is what I kind of don't get over this shit. It wasn't. The because this is point. obviously quite a fucked... Yeah, it's Isn't Conrad. It? At the end of the day, it's Conrad who is responsible for Holly getting shot. Nobody's taking... Nobody is making the claim to the contrary. We can walk That's and true. chew bubble gun at the same time. In we fact, can say that I there's no argue... justification for somebody to show up and do something like this, while at the same time condemning the things which led up to it, and the behavior that was enacted during it. We can do both things. We can say both of these things. And we can even tell, tell you which ones are the most wrong. It was the most wrong what that guy did. Under but that doesn't the impression, mean... Right, Andrew, but under the impression that they didn't think that Conrad would be showing up with a gun, they maybe thought that he would show up, but not with a gun. Under that impression... It Who cares if they showed up with it, a bat it, or his it fist? It, it, because they, it, under that impression... We are arguing that it is okay for women to let men be men and to allow women to be women and for women to keep their mouths shut and allow men to protect them. That's what we're arguing. It is perfectly reasonable that she uh, to come along with him. Oh, I see. Okay, if that's fair, then if that's your actual argument, then back it. If it was just a guy showing up with a baseball bat, would you go confront him with Stardust then? We don't know that he has a baseball bat. We, no, right, answer, you don't know, but I mean, assuming whatever him. he has, even if it's just his fist, I mean, he just shows up with his bare hands. Right. Why right. in the okay. world would Beckett take you? The smartest the thing would have been, we agree, the smartest thing would have been for them to stay in their apartment and call the police. And the most courageous thing, and you said this earlier, that you would have considered if Hunter had gone out and confronted him by himself and the guy had, had shot Hunter, you would have considered that to have been a courageous act. Those, those words came out of your mouth. Fucking stupid. Yeah, massively but still, fucking but still stupid. courageous. And that's why I say that's what a pussy is. Just because the opposite of what's is, courageous. Just because <laughs> something that you do is, is something you can do is courageous doesn't mean that by not doing that thing means you're a coward. Okay, so do yeah, stupid, I, I, stupid thing it's makes a you brave. Dude, do, doing stupid thing makes you brave. Or is it, is it brave because you're doing the self-sacrificial thing on behalf of the other it's person? It's not even the self-sacrificial And that's why you call it Holly brave. You call it Holly dumb. brave because she did the self-sacrificial Right, thing. but it was also really fucking stupid. Yeah, but you yeah, said I, it I was stunningly brave, right? It's really stupid when those firefighters run into those burning buildings, <laughs> isn't it? No. It's why not? They're trained. It's why not? Well, they're, they're trained. They're trained. The you're, you're, are they trained to breathe in smoke, Beckett? Are they trained for that? No, that's why they've got respirator. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not dangerous, but it's worlds of difference between a like no. a civilian with no Sometimes training. Sometimes they don't going, follow their orders. Do They're dangerous. told don't go in, and they go anyway, and they save the kid, and you call them the hero anyway for disobeying, even though they did the stupid thing. This is the expectation that you have of those people. The brave among us is that they're willing to disobey in order to do the brave thing anyway. That's what makes them a hero. That's why you call Holly a hero and you don't call Hunter one. And in this case, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done, bro. 
and then you can respond. And that's the same reason that fucking Beckett is the guy who's going to go out in his underwear with the handgun or the baseball bat or whatever the fuck it is and say, you stay right the fuck there, lady, until I check out whatever this is, Mm -hmm. because that's how it works. Are you seriously arguing? Like, I, I'm not sure, like this is a genuine question because the, through, through all the attacks on Hunter, like it feels like if he'd got shot, you'd st- like everyone would still be sitting here going, "He's a fucking idiot for getting shot." Like I don't see a win condition. Hey, at least be a brave this. idiot. <laughs> yeah, I, but would you be saying that, or would you be would you be like, "Wow, what a fucking idiot"? Like, <laughs> well, this is this is the you thing, right? Like, that might be true. Sure. What do you do? What, what do you? Dead, but what, wouldn't you say the like, same thing with the firefighter, though? Right, the the guy who runs in doesn't save the children, gets the smoke in, inhalation, and dies. Nobody likes the one who doesn't win, right? But he runs in anyway. If he comes out with a kid, he's a hero. If he dies inside, he was stupid. But you know, the delineation there, the delineation there is really just the preference. No, no, no. Holly is a weak age hero. He eradicated her leg. He he got in touch with the police. He managed to gather evidence while he was doing what was going on, which is, which is, which is the same thing many journalists do in those situations. That's not unique to Hunter. That is a normative response for people who like he gather dialed, information. Well, so let me get it right. Oh, he dialed 911. The, the, literally the three numbers everybody is on planet Earth dead. can remember. Is, so is he dials, well, she dead. got shot. But anyway, he dialed But that's nine, not the answer dials, to the question. Is she no, dead? No, yes, so what? No. He's, hang on, he's dead. The other guy's dead. Maybe there could have been such a, are, are we just only concerned with only the preservation of those two lives? While I what, the consider, gosh, hang, on, the hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm almost done. Knitting. While I would consider his life to be I less valuable in that row. situation than theirs, Damn you don't know what other reactions could have preserved everybody's I was life. So you have no idea. These are all post hoc rationalizations and ad hoc rationalizations. So what I'm saying here specifically is this. The delineation point and the reason that Beckett would go his ass out fucking side because he knows that the way that uh, men do things is that way. The way that they don't do things is say, well, why don't you come along with me, Stardust, and we'll go confront together. True. <laughs> it's not how that works. Why do I, it's, I, not, I, it's, I, not, it's not, uh, why don't you come along with me, right? Again, it, given that they didn't, were not aware that he had a gun, right? And given, given that they were, you know, this was like the daytime as well, um, you know, that like that like you can come up with all of these um, you know, uh speculations of what he should have done, but at the end of the day, again, you are saying all of these things after the fact. In the situation, what he did was the correct thing to do. Every single um expert on active shooter situations advises them to do exactly what they did with the exception of holly stepping between them this is only if you start the story in the middle we can all agree though right they should have never they should have never went outside yeah you're only you're starting we agree with that i'm saying you start the story in the middle so you're like you what you do is you start the story in the middle and you go if we start the story in the middle they did the right things and it's like well yeah great i'm not granting you that we're going to start the fucking story in the okay, middle but, but, but hold on hold on hold on, hold on. The but your gotcha you that's true your gotcha yeah yeah they bring me up. here yeah. hold on your gotcha with bringing me here was hey back it you wouldn't let her go out with you right it's like <laughs> yeah but i wouldn't go out in the first place i answered your question which was no i wouldn't if i was dumb enough to take those actions but that that's not quite the gotcha you think it is because again, no, I'm not it is. Hunter. It's the gotcha I, I think it in is. a different way. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not Andrew. Like I don't, I don't accept that because. Uh, 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 let me ask but you this Hunter, question. But, but you, here's the thing: unarmed, can, I accept it. If you I were unarmed, it. if you were un, I don't care what you fucking accept. If you were unarmed, are you oh, telling he's... me you're dumb enough to go in a, uh, like? Beckett is more inclined to stand up to Andrew than he is to Stardust. To see how, like, it, you, I don't care what you think. I don't care what you approve. But, like, when Stardust is like, I'm going to do this, beep, 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 beep. Like, he's like, he's like cowering in a corner. He's more afraid of his girlfriend than he is the person he's debating. Confront somebody who you know hates you, feels like you've stolen their partner, wants to kill you, and may be armed. Are no. you telling me you're that fucking stupid? No, but I can also tell you unequivocally that if I was, such a person who was dumb enough for whatever reason in that particular situation to go and confront them, my wife's staying her fucking ass inside. Mm-hmm. Right, Beckett? Okay, but 
so the argument here is Hunter Hunter did the dumb thing. And again, this isn't his wife. This is a girl who actually, do you know what? This is kind of an interesting one as well. If you didn't know they were armed and your wife had a much better, or you, let's say your girlfriend, let's say you weren't married, you'd only been together a couple of months and this was her brother or something. And you know her brother hates you. Would you would you let her come down? You mean if her brother True. was showing up? True. She yeah. Does. Let's say, let's say her brother was uh, like really unhappy with your relationship. Star, Stardust mm-hmm. piece and her boyfriend may is a woman. Seriously, just like you, like he he you 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 suspect that he may want to hurt you. Yeah. Would you let her come with you to see her brother? Um, I don't know. It. I'm oh, no, I'm not saying, sure, no, no, no. I'm not sure that that's because all that relatable thing. when it comes to family no, actually, versus actually if it comes to a boyfriend. Agree with you because the reason Holly got shot was mm-hmm. because that she was trying again. Yes, she did the heroic thing and tried to protect Hunter, but she knew that Hunter was the one that he was after. So yeah. much like if you 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 were with your girlfriend and she was going and she her brother was coming and she knew that her brother wanted to hurt you. Yeah, she may get hit with shrapnel while trying to protect you from her brother. Now that might be that you might argue then. Well, you know, I I think it's a different dynamic between family and somebody you're fucking, bro. But I think it's entirely. I think it's entirely. I think it's now. Let's say if it was the same history where they're like, my brother's a mentally ill abuser, lunatic, right? Then I would have barricaded us both in, right? Yeah, okay, but no, 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 but we're skipping that point. We're skipping that point. You didn't call me in here to ask if it was you, would you barricade your brother? Jenny is like based on you brought me here, yeah, but even then, so then the extension of that, then in that situation, if it was the same history, you're just adding it's a brother instead of a boyfriend, I would still, even if I was dumb enough to go and make the confrontation, would still leave my wife the fuck inside, Beckett. Okay, but this is, and so would you, and so would you almost, but this is why it's almost a actually, hold on, I actually. Don't know if that's the case. Well, go if ahead. Star's you would, brother you would take her. You no, would no, no. Take her if with Star's you? brother turned up, I, I, that would be a very different dynamic. No, no, no. Is... That's not. Hang on. That's not what you said. So it's all the the entire case is the exact same. You're just inserting now. It's the brother rather than the lover, but it still has the same abuse, the same all that shit, which the chick reports to you. In this case, the sister now. <laughs> yeah, but, but she, has, so like, she has the same. She has the same exact thing. It's just with her brother instead of her lover. You would still do the exact same shit. But it's not. But it's not just. It's not just her lover, is it? It's. It's. It's someone she's been with for eleven years. They've been together basically their entire romantic history. Oh come on! You, man, I mean, it's, again, this is pedantic. She's Twenty nine. She spent her entire twenties with him. Yeah, this is pedantic. This is pedantic. Yeah, with I the brother, really with the funny. brother, she spent her whole life. What's your point? It's the same situation. My point you still, is still, you, you still would do the exact same thing. You'd barricade yourself in if you had no weapons, and if you didn't, and you were going to go confront, you'd leave the woman there. In both cases, you know it. I know it. Ralph knows it. Ralph's audience knows it. My audience knows it. Stardust, and we all fucking know it. Yeah, I would barricade us in, but you, that wasn't your original fucking question, was it? And when you asked me that question, I clarified it immediately that I wouldn't go outside. So the the point is, if we if Star and I had just started dating, like let's let's roll the relationship back, and it okay. was her ex husband or something that doesn't yeah. exist, by the way, before anyone gets any ideas, <laughs> that they've been to, they were still fucking married, and they were going through a divorce. Yeah, that probably would be a different situation. Like, because uh, yeah, again, I mean, we maybe keep, like but, but, but hang on, things. hang on. If we were to hyper specify here and say, okay, if it didn't have any of the abuse markers and it didn't have any of that, then yes, it is a different situation. But in this case, if you're just saying all things are equal and all of those abuse markers are still there and everything else is still there, it's just now we're inserting a family member rather than somebody you were having sex with and in a relationship with. I still think we would react the exact same way in both those situations. Tell me I'm wrong, Beckett. I okay, what's going to put this? I think that even if you want to make those arguments that the abuse markers are there, so it's an additional that you've got these exceptions and everything else. I think when you look at this, at the arrogance of the way of people behave when they get shot at and murdered, I don't think Hunter's actions aren't out of the realms of reality. And I will say that I think that Hunter's, the 
the only reason this is getting hyper-analyzed the way it is is because people hate Hunter Avalon. And I get hating Hunter Avalon, right? Like, when he was going through his divorce, I wasn't particularly kind about him. Mm. I get that. But in this case, I just feel like it's... I, I feel like it's picking at those little holes to the point where you're just like, ah, he's just a fucking coward. But Holly's alive. He's alive. Ultimately, well, look, obviously, I don't want anyone to fucking die. Yeah, Holly, hey, Holly did a good, able to get Holly did a good job with it. Holly did a good job. Hunter did a so bad did job. That's simple. When, when she got Hunter managed to turn a K her, she was shot in the You're leg. The story in the middle. Dangerous, and she didn't fucking blame no. But you Hunter, started. Yeah. Becky, can you, can me well. and I agree on this? Can you and I agree on this? Anything that you do. I have to say, I'm like, I'm actually really impressed with Andrew, just like keeping like he's like Andrew is playing this so well. He's so even keel. He's not changing his tone, even though like it's fucking crazy what just happened right in front. He's just like going for the jugular. This is like a th this man is like a trained debater. He knows how to do this. And even though like I have him blocked on Twitter, probably because he was an asshole. Um, like I have I, I'm very impressed with how he's just he's drawn this out of them. He's played it so well that even though I probably rightfully dislike him, I still give credit where credit is due. He's ahead of your relationship. And I sure hope to God you think that you're ahead of your relationship. Um, but anything you do is ahead of your relationship, which could affect your woman and can affect your children, you're responsible for. Tread very Let's carefully see. about it. But, I know, but see, our, relationship our relationship is a partnership. Our relationship is a partnership. I'm not gonna like fuck off, Andrew. Be like, no, no. <laughs> she just keeps reminding him that she has his dick in a fucking mason jar. Oh my god! It's so disrespectful what she's doing. Oh, oh, <laughs> listen, listen, I'm British. Fine. Um, our relationship is a He's used to getting caught. Don't worry about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? All of you. Uh, Did she just say he's used to getting cucked? Rewind. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm British. Fine. Um, our relationship is a He's used to getting caught. Don't worry about it. No. <laughs> she take the all of you. Cease. Uh, my rel our relationship <laughs> Poll numbers just keep going up. Wait, yes. wait, what did she just say? Think... Start at wait, start us. What did you just say? He's used to what? I'm, I'm, I'm He's used to getting joking, caught, obviously. No, no, no. I want you to say it again. You were joking. You were joking, start up. We know we all know. Andrew, you and I are gonna have fucking words after this, okay? Next next time there is any Anything I can explain. Yeah, I mean, you and I I'm are going to have words after this too, Beckett. Just so you know. So, you know. Fine. Find your balls, Beckett. Say that yeah. you're the head of the household. No, I the own the household. fucking balls. Well, you I do. own the fucking balls, and my balls are bigger than his. All right? Whew, Beckett, bro. I feel like I'm helping you dodge a bullet here, yeah, brother. Dude, I will fucking, I will fucking murder him, right? <laughs> I feel like this whole stream is a Christmas miracle. Yes, this is a verbal pegging. This is a verbal pegging. Oh my god. If Beckett has any self-respect, he will break up with her. Let's listen again. So you know, so, you know. It's fine. Find your balls, Beckett. Say that you're the head of the household. No, I own the household. fucking balls. Well, you I do. own the fucking balls, and my balls are bigger than his, all right? Whew, Beckett. Well. Listen, this is really unattractive. Just just in case, and I, I strongly doubt any, like, 20-something women are still watching at this point. This is, if you are a 20-something woman, and you want to get married at some point in your life, this is really fucking unattractive to men. And again, I say that like I'm a fiery bitch, but there is a time and a place to be a fiery bitch. And then there is a time and a place to keep your mouth shut and allow the man to be the man. Like you don't have to be turned up to 11 at all times. You really don't. Life is about balance. You should have a little bit of both. And if you like, I like, does anyone find this attractive in a woman? I mean, I know some men pay to go to like dominatrixes and stuff like that, but it's like, 
that's a different thing. It's like, if, if you're going to engage in this type of emasculating behavior, you should literally be paying the woman to do it. That is the only place that is acceptable or in the bedroom where like, okay, maybe in the bedroom, fine. But like, it is not acceptable to do this live on the internet. Like, this is unacceptable. Maybe Beckett has it. Maybe like, maybe Beckett has a humiliation fetish. That's the only possible explanation. But like you can even then you can have that in the bedroom. You can do it behind closed doors. No one would ever know. Just don't make a sex tape. It's not it's not attractive, right? It's really not. Oh. I feel like I'm helping you dodge a bullet here, brother. (laughs) Andrew is correct. Right? Wow. (laughs) Firstly, our relationships are partnerships. Secondly, yes, I do think that. But I also no, it's not Beckett. No, it's not. It is not a partnership. And I've said this this multiple times. One of the reasons that I date Star is how reliable she is, how intelligent she is. Great at those oh things. god. So I don't, need to, to, I don't to need to carry all the fucking burden. It, yeah, um, Beckett, is it a partnership or is it a partnership? Hmm. What what's that what's that meant to mean? Uh, do you mean uh, is, uh, do we have a destiny yeah. relationship? Well, I mean, no. like no. right now, while you're on air, it's a partnership, but then behind the scenes, so you might be like why don't you shut the fuck up? Why don't you shut the fuck up? And you're gonna real. do what I say. Like, no, wait. no, no. Let's be real. Beckett does not even want to go there because it is a partnership. And how much it of a is. partnership it and is? Why do you? Need it to it would be absolutely not good for him. So yeah. <laughs> Wow. The Christmas right. spirit is in the air. Here. Oh, it's it's true. It's true. I have a holly jolly. <laughs> all right. All right. Look, I'll leave it there, guys. I've enjoyed wow. very much the conversation. I feel like um I feel like I'm gonna get Beckett killed if we keep I going. think you might. Yeah, <laughs> let's stop there. I, I do have one super Thanks, chat Andrew. for you. I really- Buddy, this has been. Yeah, fucking say, he really got you, you man. Fucking wow. Yang <laughs> Who did you think you were talking to? You got. Oh, I, man, I he literally. I you were talking to him. I was just going to ask you what the fuck are you doing? No, Beckett, shut up. Beckett, shut the fuck up. All right? Yeah, Beckett. Okay. Who the did, fuck did you think you were talking to? I you knew what was gonna I would, happen. You I think see that I would away. date somebody who who wouldn't be able to handle how feminist I am? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, Stardust, no Listen, man can come I, out and say they would let their woman go out with him to confront a guy with a I, shotgun not, or they'd be called a pussy. Like, like me. not that he would let me. That he cannot oh, fucking. They wouldn't put stop you down, me. Stardust. Right? Like, what the hell? You can't let a woman go outside with the Oh, like, it. How many times have I been the one going out? All right, let me just, just say that. All right, he couldn't even he couldn't say that even if he would let that happen because he would look like a listen, a listen, pussy to Star, everybody. Star is, listen, listen, Star is highly fucking capable. No, 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 Star is highly fucking capable. Uh-huh. I'm not disagreeing with that. That, but that's why she why no, she getting okay, left so in the, the problem, house. Then. The problem with she getting left in the house. So she's so how would I react in this situation? And it's probably not the same sort of like logical, rational thing with everything else because I've been in situations like this. I've seen them go fucking horribly wrong. But again, Hunter probably doesn't have that fucking experience. That's why it's a bit of an unfair question. That's because his woman was out getting gangbanged <laughs> with a camel. That's because most people are smart enough to not get themselves into these situations where in their the first wife place. leaves I was them just to go dumb when I was younger. Where their wife leaves them to get gangbanged. Now listen, I can understand if it was Carissa, maybe he'd want her to jump in front while he ran the fuck off. But if it's a chick that you like True. or We're a chick fucked. that you're with, We're you have some respect for or something like this. Way. Come on, Becky. and none of them are good. She ain't coming out the fucking door with you. That's just the way it works, bro. He can't fucking stop me. He can't oh, he I can stop. Hunter could have, I don't think Hunter could have stopped Holly, and also I don't think the dynamics of the same. Oh yeah, yeah. She, I, I just don't. I'm sure he couldn't have stopped her when she had a bullet hole in her fucking leg. Couldn't moved her to a covered position while he stood in front of the glass door. There's no possible way, back It was. It's, it's just like Wait, there's no the, way he could have done right, that. Hold on, hold on. From from what I can remember in the footage, like there's not a huge amount to cover. Anyway, oh yes, there is. Next, they're that overlooking the balcony. No, no, hold on. They're overlooking the balcony where the stairs are. Stairs are coming up so that they can see access to their front door. He's the one leaning. Do you know how we know for sure that they're not having sex? Not just that they live on two different continents, which we can analyze the psychology behind why they both chose to be in long distance relationships. And I'll I'll cut to the chase. It's intimacy issues, but. 
Do you know how we know they're not having sex? Because if they were having sex, then Stardust would be able to like submit to her man a little bit better because ain't no one having an orgasm if they're holding on that tightly. Like she could channel that fiery bitchy energy into sex in nine, 97 different ways and probably many more than that. But like you can't like you like you literally can't. You cannot have an orgasm if you don't let go. And Stardust is round way too tightly. So more evidence that they're not having sex. Over to get the information. Firstly, they he he's he needs to get that information to see if like the guy's coming through. And if Holly's in his position, isn't she just as fucking vulnerable? No, she's less the dude vulnerable. Wasn't in the, she's no, in no, a, the dude she's wasn't in... in the apartment at the time. Yeah. He didn't want to shoot Holly. They knew that she didn't. She he didn't was looking out because in he case was... he in case he came in. So they were looking from two positions. So he's looking from the position off to his right, which is off the side of his deck, which has an elevated. At, at least uh, some kind of fence that's right there that you can see, right? Which is very common for decks inside of the United States, especially if you're on a second story. Um, that it, but even on the first story, you'll have some type of gate around the deck, a uh, wooden gate. They would, she they would, would have been in a better position to be on that side while he stood in front of the glass, but instead she stood in front of the glass, even though she had a bullet wound already. But she was, but they, but she was also texting him at the time. So about how she couldn't text him from a cover position. We're just having no, no, the about... exact fucking debate that I had with Andrew. Like, we, yeah, no, we I, 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 right, I just right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I just think I think you're just running in a. You really want to do the same exact debate with him? You know. <laughs> Amazing overtime segment on the kill stream. I have to say, right. oh, the, there was, was one super something. chat for you, Andrew. It was quite uh, something uh, indeed. Let, let, let me read this. Uh, it says BPF's lungs, please, Andrew. We can't take any more cigarettes. You have smoked two packs in this debate alone. Please, we are so black. We have we have started robbing licking slicker stores. Is what it says. Fuck you, uh, BPF's lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody. Really Merry happened. Christmas to you. It doesn't cause any problems, Beckett. I knew that was about to happen. I, impish behavior. Uh, no, I Mr. probably shouldn't, I shouldn't have invited him. Right. I shouldn't have even told him. I shouldn't have even told Beckett that Andrew was asking for him to oh, come I on. Exactly because of yes, course, yes, of course, it, exactly, Stardust. You should have protected your man, Stardust. You should have protected him from the mean man on the internet. You should have protected him from this whole thing. And then you expect us to believe, Stardust, that you're not going to like run right in front of Andrew or Beckett, excuse me. You expect us to believe that you're so defensive about your boyfriend talking to someone on the internet that you're not going to like run right in front of him and be the one to get shot just to prove you're a fucking feminist. For men, yeah, he's just going to use it as an opportunity to, to, to undermine me. Right. So nice. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's, Beckett, that you're, is, that bro, is, you're in the doghouse. You're in the doghouse. Yeah. You guys are shot. All of you, nice all of you are in the doghouse. Every single one of you. Andrew, we are no longer friends. I'm no longer friends with Andrew. I I'm no longer wow. friends with, with Ethan. No. Uh, and wait Beckett, a minute. goodbye. All right. No. I'm just saying. No, I'm no longer. Wow. Wait. I didn't do anything. We no, we're no that's none of us. No, I I'm do done. No, no, that's not Ethan. Fair. Ethan didn't even do nothing. That, I didn't, didn't do doesn't nothing. matter. Doesn't matter. I didn't even stopped complicit. you from breaking up with him on air. What do you mean? Uh, it would have, have been, been content. Cursed. Why did you stop it? Well, because I felt bad for you. What the fuck? I didn't want to see that. Oh, uh, well, well, Ethan, I'm sorry that I broke up all of your friendships this what evening. What the fuck, man? You. I can't thank lose you. any more friends. Thank you for having me on the kill stream this evening. I appreciate Merry it. Merry fucking Christmas to all of you. The unstoppable <laughs> stardust, the indomitable Andrew Wilson. <laughs> Beckett, thank you for joining us in your debut. What a hell, hellacious debut here. Have a great night, man. Good night. <laughs> right. Wow. Thank you for having right, us. Cool. Uh, You're welcome. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Bye. Merry Christmas. And 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 really, what did what did we learn from all of this? That uh, big tech has a point about a woman uh, can't gain power without weakening the man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I feel like I feel like Stardust has inadvertently proved every single fucking point that big tech made in that debate that we watched yesterday. And I know that we all hate to agree with him, but we do because Stardust just made it too impossible not to agree with him. Wow. Wow.